Is this your first trip down there? No, this was the uh, second time I'd been down to that exact, exact same spot. Asked me for about $600, and before I knew it, I was on a bus, so yeah. I ran over to, here. to Mexico. That's how, we, that's how we roll around here. No, but it was, uh, uh, like Jeremy mentioned, uh, uh, families who are very impoverished and live in basically uh, uh, makeshift homes, if you want to call it a home. And... Uh, it was, what, eight by 10, I think, at that, made up of pallets, wood, you know, scrap wood that they could find. And so what we provided or what God provided through us was a total blessing to them. Uh, what, how big is the house, the houses that you guys built? Just to give us, I know we saw them, but how big was that? Yeah, uh, I believe there were 20 by 22, probably smaller than some of our, our garages, but uh, they were very happy to, to, to see those structures go up and participate in the building. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy, so you're doing that first time you'd ever done something like that? Uh, no, this was my second time. Nice, okay, cool. I went when I was about 15, so it was a little, little different knowing a little bit more this time. Yeah. So you guys build the house in a week, more or less, uh, five days, and then you give the key to this family, and what's, what's that like? What, what do you hear God saying to you when you're, when you're down there in the midst of all that? You got to well, hold the mic up close, sorry. Hey, well, it's... it's just an extreme uh, blessing to be able to, you know, uh, show God's glory in the midst of all of that poverty and 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 struggle down there. You guys, uh, Raw. What about you? You've been down there twice uh, in twelve years. Didn't difference make any twelve years make any difference in the way you saw it? Well, um, <clears throat> it didn't make a difference in the fact of the area. But just being able to see the people that were, I mean, it didn't seem like it changed. They were still impoverished. They still mm -hmm. needed something. It's like, okay, maybe 12 years, everyone will have a home. Well, no, that's not the case. They need help continually. And so the home we were building, I looked around. We saw some homes that looked like they were part of the, the project over the years. But the environment was the same. Um, the culture was the same, and so there was a need there, and there always will be a need, I believe. Mm. So you guys, Tim, um, you guys uh, did this. This was your second trip this year, kind yeah. of. And, and uh, what what's the what's the takeaway? I mean, each guy had to raise or come up with yeah. six or seven hundred dollars, and you guys each house cost how much? Yeah, roughly five thousand. So you guys raised a total of 10000 for houses and all the rest of the airfare and the takeaway. Yeah. I think the biggest takeaways are what 
the trip does for each person. You know, I think that everybody, we split up into two teams because we built two houses and, uh, and then just continue to try to listen to, you know, what, what God's telling us. And so I think Aaron Roth had said, I feel like there's something that we're supposed to do that's sustainable down here. And so throughout the week we're listening and, and it turned out that, uh, the house that Raul and them had built, they, they bought a stove that also had an oven yet, Lots of the other houses that were built had ovens, but the ladies don't use the ovens because they don't know how. And so, the guy that these guys, the, the family that these guys built the house for, she knew how to cook. And so then they got her the oven, got her a bunch of teaching supplies and all that. And now she's going to go around and give cooking lessons to the whole village. So that's pretty cool, right? And one other thing real quick, uh, you know, we we're building a house and, and they're like, oh, so you, one of the guys that uh, his house we're building for coaches a kid's soccer team. And they're like, oh, really? So, you know, what's that like? What are your jerseys like? He goes, oh, we don't have any jerseys. We're like, you do now. So the next thing you know, we're telling them, what does it take to get jerseys? We can contact the local t-shirt store. He, they're like, but we want Church in the Hills logo to be on our jerseys. I'm like, Ray, send me some high-res logos, blah, blah. Next thing you know, boom, 200 bucks. We now sponsor a soccer team in Brazil, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to me- mention something about that. I just got a text the other day from Manuel saying that those uniforms will be, um, they'll have them tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. So you guys are, 17 guys went this year. We heard that a bunch of the ladies would like to go. Is that true? A bunch of, would, would a lot of the ladies like to go? Yeah. I could see you out there. Yeah. Again, so what's the plan? Yeah, so the plan is uh, men's ministry will combine with women's ministry and youth, and we're going to take at least 90 people down there, and we're going to build 10 houses. Mm. So, Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, uh, the deal here is that if you can picture the continent, like if you looked at North America and you pictured, say, I don't know, Miami to Portland, you can picture how far apart that is. That's really who they're working with. What these are are migrant laborers that have come all the way from the state of Oaxaca and Chiapas, the southernmost states of Mexico, all the way northwest. And then they've gotten up to where these guys were in the northwest corner below uh, Tijuana, and they get stuck there. They get stuck economically. They've paid a ton of money to get up there or their job isn't all, all, all year round and they don't even have enough money to get home. And so they become almost, in a sense, indentured servants. They, they have to pay off their, their, their travel and all this. And the poverty is just systemic, like Raul was describing. It's generational. And so this ministry, it's a YWAM ministry, helps just provide housing, just pure and simple for, for the pure and needy. So, Yeah. Thanks, you guys, for, for taking the plunge and going, and going down. And uh, you guys are going to be our promoters for next year, right? right? Look at those guys. Yeah. So I, I love this picture up there. When I looked at this, I saw this when they sent it up to me, and I thought, did they not give Dave Johnson a shirt or, or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so...